human design um, or wants to learn more about this type specifically or if you are this type of course I think that anyone could benefit from this however before I start I would like to say a few things because I know that my aura can be very intense to some people or can just not be the right space for the right time and I don't want in any way shape or form to somehow bomb drop or put something on you that causes a lot of realization to come up too quickly when you're not ready and so at any point in time especially you know if you have that five I know you're going to want to learn if you're a five one you're going to have that curiosity but just know that even if you needed to just take a break just pause the video if you feel uncomfortable if you feel like there's too much coming at you too quickly it's okay I am in no way going to be offended if if this doesn't click with you it is more to put it out there because I feel like nobody really has except for you know one video I watch which I will mention a little later and the profound effect it had on me I just knew that I no longer wanted to keep this information you know under wraps because I often do believe that human design and the way and the, the cost of a lot of it it is so hard for people to get the knowledge that as a projector it can feel very overwhelming and so before we I mean I guess I'm going to begin now but I wanted to let you know that it will be coming from my point of view as I walk through my journey with human design now I am certified um, I do have a pretty good understanding as far as who I am, but I am going very deep in my chart. And I think that for a 5-1 type, especially an emotional projector, I've really sat on this thought of why am I not, you know, choosing to walk on a journey with you all? Because I think it's terrifying. I think it makes me afraid that... I won't have all that knowledge and therefore I will be a failure at what I'm doing. You see five one types tend to want or they have this ability to be the answer to people. So oftentimes in my life people look at me but they don't really exactly see me. They see this distorted version of me that will fix their problems. And I am in no way, shape, or form judging or saying that that person is wrong. However, it was me that needed to choose my boundaries because I'm also an emotional projector, meaning that I am needing to follow my strategy, which my strategy as an emotional projector is to wait for an invitation and then give myself the emotional wave or a few days to feel ups and downs from who I am and how I feel about the situation. So with most situations in my, well, actually every situation in my life, I'm going to feel on top of the world and on the bottom of the world. Well, bottom of the world, bottom of something, just the bottom is my point. But, and I know that that is a lot right there, even just to take in. Because it's been a lot for me. And so I want to start with a little bit of background of how I got into human design. And so you understand where I'm coming from as far as the journey that I've been on. 